own brand personally. Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton, these people are pros at this. So maybe that's why Patrick Ambron, CEO and co-founder of BrandYourself.com, found himself a little niche. Tell us first what BrandYourself.com is. Uh, BrandYourself.com, it's a product. It's the first do-it-yourself platform that makes it easy for anybody to take control of their own search results. So when someone Googles your name, uh, be it an employer, uh, someone you just worked with, someone you met at an event, maybe even a first date, uh, they find positive, relevant, accurate information you want them to find and not negative, irrelevant, or, or result about somebody else. So you kind of control that first impression. So what does that mean? That you block out the garbage? Oh, uh, no. It, it's called a process called search engine optimization, which traditionally, you know, businesses have been using for yeah. a long time to make sure they show up for, you know, car insurance, if they're a car insurance company. Right, right. Um, it's basically just making sure you have results that show up higher, and that indirectly buries anything that might be negative or unflattering. So you're not removing anything. You're just making sure... Uh, certain things are showing up higher and ranked higher in search results. So that the first thing that someone sees when they Google you is a good is good. Exactly. Um, Ninety-three percent of people never even leave the first page. So your kind of goal is to get as many positive, relevant things on the first page or the second page as possible. And so, and this um, search engine optimization that you've created can somehow figure this out. Yeah. So search engine optimization is actually a process that's been used for a long time. Like I said, businesses use it all the time. There's reputation firms out there that help people and businesses do this. But the problem is, if you're the average person who just wants to look a little bit better online because yeah. they're applying for a job or, you know, they're getting customers, they know they're being Googled, that pro it was too expensive uh, to do, you know, they can't do it themselves because it sounds complicated and it's overwhelming. And it's too expensive to pay someone thousands of dollars to do it for you. So our software was designed to kind of simplify that process and, and make it really easy for you to manage yourself. So it breaks down in a very simple way so anybody can say, you know, I want my LinkedIn to show up high. And it analyzes it and comes back and tells you, well, here's what you can do to make your LinkedIn show up higher. And then it monitors it for you. So it just simplifies that process for uh, everybody. Is, is there a cost? Yeah, well, actually, the, the product is free. If you, go to, you can sign up for free uh, to make money. There's premium features um, uh, that are a couple bucks a month. I mean, the mission is to make it, we wanted to make it so anybody could do this without having to break the bank or have any sort of technical or price barrier. So 98% of people, the free product's all they need. If you need a little bit more control, you need a little bit more things showing up higher, uh, it's a couple bucks a month. It's still very, very inexpensive. Okay, you graduated from Syracuse in 2009, so that makes you pretty young. You have been, Brand Yourself has been recognized by Entrepreneur Magazine as one of the top five innovative companies. How did you come up with this idea? You must have come up with it in college. Yes, uh, so it actually happened pretty organically in the sense of my co-founder, uh, Pete, uh, he couldn't get a job in college, an internship, and we didn't know why because he's very qualified. And he kept not getting internships, and then we found out he was being Googled, like all employers now have to do, and he was being mistaken for a drug dealer. Someone what? else, Someone else with the same name from around the same area, you know, was a drug dealer, and those results were showing up, and it was easy to mistake him for it. He had no idea how search engines work like most people. He knew it was affecting his, you know, actual livelihood, so to speak. Uh, so he looked it up, and, like, the solutions out there, like uh, reputation companies, he goes... I could pay a couple thousand dollars, and I had a background in search engine optimization. I was I had a company doing this for businesses, and I said that's you don't that's ridiculous. You shouldn't you don't need to pay that it's, for a person. It's very simple. Let me show you how. Uh, and we helped his problem, but we realized that this is becoming really important for everybody. Yeah, everybody should have some sort of say over what shows up in their Google. Uh, so we really kind of made it our mission to build a platform that made that easy for anybody to do again without having any sort of technical or, or economic barrier. How did you fund this? Oh, well, we released, a, we built the first product ourselves. Uh, we released it um, uh, in 2011, early 2011, a very okay. primitive version of the product. And it did pretty well. We quickly got about 20,000 people up and using it. Uh, we knew we needed to rebuild it, make it simpler. So then we uh, raised a, uh, a round of funding uh, from VCs and angels. Uh, and that's what we've used for the, uh, we've been building off that money for the last 10 or 11 months to really get the product in an amazing place. And that's what we'll actually be releasing um, in March. So anybody can sign up in March right now if you went to brandyourself.com. Uh, you could type in your email and we'll give you a code because it's a beta testing right now. Right. But uh, the goal is to allow anybody, you know, March be completely publicly launched. So you, you found a million dollars. You found VCs and angels willing to give you a million dollars. Yeah, a little, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, a lot more, right? So, I mean, what was the pitch? They were buying into this notion too? I mean, were they, were they feeling like, damn, this has happened to me? Uh, you know, it is. It's actually a relatable problem. It's a, we had the advantage on it. It's a tangible problem. People know that everyone recognizes, everyone's Googled someone. 
and everyone knows that you know that is important. And there was a really big need there because most people do with their solutions. There really is no solution that the average person can use. Like I said, you either need to know how to do it yourself, which is completely out of the question for the average person, or or the service based model uh, that works for businesses and maybe you know politicians is not a sustainable economic model for the average person. Right. So we had that on our side, plus the fact that we built the product and we showed we could get traction. I mean, this is something people obviously wanted by the amount of people we were able to sign up in such a short amount of time. That we you know we had that I think on it's our a side. Real, I think it's genius. I actually, I'm going to check it out. I mean, especially when you're on air, people, you know, they pull little stupid clips of things and they take them out of context, and next thing you know, it doesn't look as appealing. Someone on the chat wrote, as an older guy with years of experience, how do I reflect on my experience without being discounted for my age? So do you, is there a placement factor there as well to actually make them look a little hipper probably? <laughs> well, you know, what, what the product does is you submit things that exist about you on the web or you can even build them. So the software doesn't help you make if you're not cool, you're not cool. Right. Not that this guy is not cool, I'm sure he is. Yes. Uh, we just help, the problem we would help this guy is if you Google me and you find out that 25 years ago I worked for company X, but I want right. them to know for the last 10 years I've had a consulting business or I've been doing this. We can help those results show up higher so you you know, you have a little bit more say of what people find. I think that is so cool, Patrick. Okay, so, um, wait. Patrick is your... Uh, oh, well, I'm me. Patrick. Right, Pete. but who's the other partner that you mentioned? Pete, Pete that's yeah, right. Similar names, right? There you go, right. Patrick and Pete. But, so you guys are co-founders. Yes. And Pete um, graduated from Syracuse too? Uh, Pete was your younger. Pete did not... Pete, Took a leave of He's been on leave of office, so he didn't end up graduating. Patrick, co-founder, CEO of BrandYourself.com. Check it out. He's got a million dollars plus to make this thing better. And March, it's totally public. Yep, you can go to BrandYourself.com right now and sign up, and you'll probably get a code pretty quickly because we're so close to public launch. But right. by March, anybody can go and sign up with the free product. Everybody should check it out. I think it is awesome. I think everybody should check it out. BrandYourself.com. The website's up right now. Check it out. Patrick, thank you. Thank you very much. Pete, too.